guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the third week of August and opening up the last week. Very exciting. I know next week is technically the 31st of August, but I am gonna include that as a September budget because it just makes sense for me with the expenses and everything. So today is the last cash stuffing, oh, sorry, <laughs> budget check-in for August. So without further ado, let's begin. We're gonna start with the expenses as usual and let's start. So we spent everything in groceries, everything in spending and everything in dine out. So that was 50, 20 and 50 correspondingly. We spent, so there's no point in checking because there is no rollover, I already know. I've been spending quite a lot these past few weeks, but I guess it is what it is. So then we have $34.93 in clothing. I bought some new Crocs. So those these pastel purple Crocs, very cool. I'll insert a picture if I don't forget. Um, then $16.43 in miscellaneous. I had a colleague go on maternity leave, so we bought her a couple of things and Oh, so you know that was ikea and then gifts was 1688 which was for the maternity leave like we bought her some flowers some face masks and candy so in total that was 188 euros and 24 cents definitely one of the lowest spending weeks but that's always nice so let's check uh the actual amount and then set up uh the budget for next week so we did have an income of 650 so that's what i'm writing in the actual we did spend everything in groceries and spending and dine out so that's 50 20 and 50 correspondingly once again so all of the other amounts stay the same five went into gas 80 in rent 30 in utilities five in miscellaneous and 75 in dine um one month ahead so let's see what the actual amounts were 315 so 650 minus 315 is 335 then we are bringing that up here to uh, short-term sinking funds. We have beauty getting 40, Christmas got 20, clothing 10, 40 went into health, five in holidays, 10 in subscriptions and 40 in travel. So that was, let's see, 165, perfect. So 335 minus 165, 170. So 170 is going down to long-term sinking funds. We put five into babies, five into car, 50 in deposit, five in pets, retirement, technology, and weddings. So that's five in each of the four categories. So that was 80 euros in total. So 170 minus 80 is 90. Perfect. So the 90 we bring here to the savings challenges. That is what we stuffed in the savings challenges, which means 90 in total. And we have zero euros left over, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. Perfect. So that was for week three. Now let's set up week four. So today we will have 655 euros to allocate across our sinking funds and cash envelopes. So we're gonna put, as usual, 50 in groceries, 20 in spending, and 50 in dine out. I'm gonna put nothing in gas this week, 75 in rent, 30 in utilities, five in miscellaneous, and 95 in one month ahead. And if I'm not mistaken, um, that is the final amount we need, which means that we'll be fully done with stuffing that binder just in time for the Oh, sorry, my camera moved, I think. No, okay, I'm gonna move it a little bit. So just in time for the monthly check-in and monthly closeout, and we'll be able to condense and transfer some funds. I also have some things I wanna transfer from my other envelopes, just a couple of uh, like savings goals and just uh, amounts I've been working on. Also, I have a lot of things I need to save up coming up later in the year, also next year. So I just want to move some funds around, but all of that I will discuss in my uh, monthly closeout video. Uh, so in total for bills and cash envelopes, we have put in 325 in there. So 655 minus 325 
is 330. Perfect. So that 330 is going here to short term sinking funds. We're going to put 40 in beauty, um, 30 in Christmas, 10 in clothing, 40 in health and 50 in travel. So nothing in birthdays because those are fully funded, nothing in gifts, nothing in holidays and subscriptions too. So 40 plus 30 plus 10 plus 40 plus 50, we have 170 going in short term sinking funds. So 330 minus 170 is 160. So that is going down to long term sinking funds. We are going to put five in each category except deposit that is going to get 50 and emergency is fully funded so that's also not getting anything so babies car pets retirement technology and weddings each is going to get a five so let's see in total that's 80 euros in here so 160 minus 80 is 80 i believe yes so 80 euros left and all of that will go into our savings challenges we're putting 80 in there and we have zero euros left to budget. Perfect. So that is what the budget looked like for the last week of August. Can't believe like I think August just started and we're already finishing it, which is insane. But yes, that was all for today's video. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck, which is the last cash stuffing of the month. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. I have a cash condensing video coming next week. Also a monthly closeout video and a monthly setup video for September. So perfect. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you have an amazing day morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.